Hey guys, welcome to Digit.in and meet the Hero Optima DX, India's first lithium ion e-bike. Now we are going to go through the features of this bike in detail in the course of this video, but we'd like to run you through some of the features right now. To begin with, the bike has the ability to go 65 kilometers on a single charge. It can take up to six hours to reach 100% charge and it is priced between 53,000 and 65,000 based on, of course, the city you buy it in because of the various taxes. Another cool feature about this bike is the GPS ability it holds. You can also buy this bike from Paytm where you have some interesting cashback offers. So without any further ado, here is a quick look at everything the Optima DX has to offer. Kicking things off with what's important, the battery and the mileage. Now Hero says that the battery can last for 5 years. What mileage you get from the bike is 65 kilometers per charge. The battery takes about 3 to 4 hours to reach 100% charge. If you are in a hurry, the battery can charge up to 60% in 2 hours. My OnePlus 3 can charge 60% in 30 minutes, but that's no comparison. The battery consumes 1 unit of electricity to reach 100% charge. Putting things into perspective, you will pay 70 paise per kilometer for travel on this bike. Another interesting feature of the bike is that the battery can be removed and charged from the convenience of your house. But remember, the battery is quite heavy, weighing about 7 kgs. Not ideal for old people like me. Speaking of the battery and the bike, both have a warranty of 3 years. Now, Hero claims that this bike has a top speed of 25 km per hour. Let's put that claim to the test, shall we? In our experience, the bike reached a top speed of 15 km per hour. Add a pillion to the mix and the speed drops to 10. And we are two slim people on this bike. Just saying. Now, as far as the color options are concerned, you have two color options in this bike. You have burgundy and blue. As far as servicing is concerned, you need to service the bike every 1000 km and the absolute basic cost of a servicing is 150 rupees. This of course does not include any repairs or replacements that are required. So it's safe to say that if you use this bike carefully, you'll be paying 150 rupees for servicing it. There is no reserve indicator in the bike, so you will have to be careful about charging it regularly. It is available online and offline for those interested. However, all isn't perfect with this vehicle. Now, if you decide to go away for a few days, you might want to remove the battery from this bike and there's a very valid reason for that. The bike has a GPS chip inside which works with a SIM card and as a user, you don't have access to the GPS chip to enable it or disable it externally. You have to get it done by a technician or the app. So let me explain certain features of this GPS. Well, to begin with, you can track the movement that you do on the bike. So let's say if you are taking a particular route or your distance covered in terms of kilometers, you can access all that from the convenience of an app on your smartphone. However, to enable the GPS feature, you actually have to go to a registered technician who is, of course, authorized by Hero to do this for the bike. He will install the GPS and essentially enable it for you installing the SIM card. This will cost you about two and a half thousand rupees over and above the cost of the bike that you pay, despite the fact that the GPS comes enabled inside the bike from the get-go. Another thing that you need to be aware of, which is kind of a good feature with this bike, is that if in uh, the event of a theft or if someone is tampering with your uh, vehicle, you will be notified on your smartphone thanks to the GPS connection and the SIM card that you have linked to your smartphone application with the bike. Now you can set off an alarm or even remotely disable the ignition of this bike through that app. So it is pretty nifty. So to conclude, we'd like to say that the bike has a bunch of nifty features. It is ideal for those of you that are looking to be environmental friendly and commute small distances. However, don't be surprised if a cycle overtakes you because the top speed really isn't that great. As always, you can let us know what you thought of this video in the comment section below. If you liked it, you can hit the like button. And for more videos like this one, you can subscribe to the Digit YouTube channel. We'll catch you in another video.